Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining us today. My name is Brittany DeFilly, and I'm the Educational and Outreach Coordinator here at Vertex. Today, in our MyTel Tips and Tricks monthly webinar, we actually have a special guest from MyTel. David Clardy is going to be going over some of this updates to the My Voice Connect end of life, as well as some of the transition benefits if you decide to go over to the My Voice business platform. We're excited to see what David has to show. So I'm going to go ahead and kick this over to David. David, it's all yours. All right, thanks Brittany, appreciate it. Uh, thanks for having us again. Um, as Brittany said, we're, we're gonna be covering um, a few of the topics or, or um, items that we've, we've uh, talked about before, but we do have some updated content, some of the um, newer product updates on the My Voice Business platform um, that, that we've highlighted in the past as our uh, as our go forward platform with with the announcement of the um, uh, the Connect lifecycle, uh, and we are going to cover over some uh, updates on some of the dates around that, as Brittany said. Uh, so uh, with that, um, the first thing we'll, we will want to talk a little bit about um, are those lifecycle dates for the Connect platform. Um, these are the ones that we've we've actually highlighted on some of the other webinars. Um, the ones that that are uh, crucial for um, Yourselves as Connect customers, uh, obviously does not pertain to uh, new systems uh, uh, sales, uh, but it does pertain to add-on sales. So uh, we did announce uh, last year um, the, um, the the end of add-on sales for the Connect platform um, and the core software for some of the um, applications and supporting uh, tools for the Connect solution. Um, for December 31st of this year, 2024, which is is uh, coming a lot closer and uh, <laughs> a lot faster than than uh, any of us would would like to see. I can't believe it's already October. Um, yeah, so uh, the one thing that that we did uh, update is uh, around some of the individual licenses, just to help customers uh, get through that transition period, uh, which which I'll talk a little bit about next. Now. Um, Beyond the uh, licensing and system add-ons for the for the platform, um, end of hardware repair. Um, that's that's not RMA. So if you just have a support issue for a down switch uh, or any of the other um, supporting you know devices or hardware, um, that will go out into December of 2028. So you have you know uh, four more years of uh, of hardware support for the platform, um, and then the end of technical support or uh, end of life for the for the platform uh, as in its entirety is December of 2029. So have a few years, but uh, obviously we'll want to continue to have these conversations and see uh, how and where my voice business fits into um, your uh, ongoing strategy for, for your platform. Um, and hopefully today you can take away a few of the items that are um, obvious benefits to the platform um, now, one thing that the Vertex team can can obviously sit down and discuss with you all a little bit further um, is some of our promotions that we have around this. So we're talking a little bit about dates and a lot about you know product benefits, but there's also um, customer incentives for yourselves uh, as you're looking at the platform. Um, you know, Mytel's Mytel values all of our you know my Wish Connect customers. We want to make sure that you guys see the the value that we have in you, um, and with that, we're extending. Uh, discounting for both our hardware and our licenses on the platform my voice business that we're going to be highlighting today so if you want more information on uh, promotions and discounts um, that we have for you guys that, as you're looking at these transitions uh, please reach out to your vertex team and they'll be more than happy to uh, expand upon that uh, so i've promised uh, the the next topic is around some of the extended uh, dates for the add-on sales um, so there are a number of end user licensing um, that, we, that you'll see on the screen here, um, that we did extend out another year. We had a, a good deal of customers and partners highlight that, uh, you know, the, the 2024 date did not give their customers or, um, you know, the customers themselves that did not give them enough uh, ample time in order to position the, their licensing on Connect uh, in order to get through that transition period, hopefully prior to 2029, hopefully uh, we don't have to wait until the, uh, the, the the end of the uh, timeline there, but uh, it, this is going to give you guys a little bit more flexibility in uh, adding some licenses to your your Connect platform. 
uh, in order to uh, get you guys out into that, that uh, transition period for you. So uh, hopefully this makes things a little bit easier for you guys. If you still have questions around any of the dates um, and or affected products or licenses and where they fall, if it's the 2024 end of this year, or if it is the extended 2025 day, again, um, feel free to prop that in the, in the questions and or reach out to your Vertex team. They'll be more than happy to uh, elaborate on this a little bit further to make sure you guys are, uh, are comfortable with, with uh, where these different items stand. Uh, so with that, um, or we'd like to take our conversation is around uh, MyPill's Go Forward platform. So uh, if you've been with us on some of these webinars before, we've talked a lot about uh, MyPill's um, you know, core platform, uh, which is My Voice Business. Um, it, you, many of you are probably very familiar with the, the tagline of the Connect platform that everybody know, knew and loved, which was, you know, brilliantly simple. Uh, with My Voice Business, we, we like to say that this particular platform offers our customers uh, flexibility and choice. Um, and what we mean by, by flexibility and choice is, is uh, kind of in a couple of different areas that's kind of articulated on the screen here. So first off, in terms of flexibility, it's where you want to put the platform. Um, so by and large, the, the difference between Connect and Business is where you can take this, this solution in its entirety. Uh, Connect had, a, had a, a very good positioning in the market with, uh, you know, the, the ST and SG switches that were offered, obviously uh, offering it in virtualization with, you know, VMware and Hyper-V. With my voice business, Mytel actually uh, invested a little bit uh, further into that uh, migration strategy for our customers, even prior to the the uh, acquisition of Shortel uh, a few years back. So with my voice business, you can actually take this particular platform to any of your cloud hosted providers. So whether that's AWS or Azure. So if you're taking any other applications and services uh, to those cloud infrastructures, you can take your core telephony platform along with you. So if you need to do any type of data dips or uh, inqu inquiries about your, your uh, other applications or CRMs, uh, you can actually put your phone system right where those other applications are being stored. Uh, we still support uh, VMware and Hyper-V, uh, but we've actually expanded upon that as well with the MyWiz business platform. And we'll kind of paint the whole picture of how and where you can deploy the solution, but ultimately it's, it's flexibility and where you want to take the solution. And whether that's today, as you're looking at my voice business now, uh, or in the future, right? Because it is a, a software application um, that you can take with you uh, or migrate at, at a later date and time as, as your uh, needs evolve uh, with your, your telephony solution. And with choice, uh, what we what we mean by choice is choice in how you want to consume or pay for the for the pl platform in general. So uh, we do still have a what we refer as to as a capex or a capital purchase of the platform, like uh, that was offered on the Short Tail or My Voice Connect platform, uh, with your annual support or software assurance renewals that that you uh, have today. Um, that offer is is still going to continue forward, uh, but a lot of our customers in the market were asking for. Uh, more of a monthly reoccurring or subscription-based model uh, for, for purchasing their platform to give them a little bit more flexibility in, uh, you know, scaling up and down for different, you know, various situations. Uh, you know, you guys are, a lot of you are in the, uh, the Florida area, you know, weather affects that in, in some instances and in some customer situations. So uh, we wanted to extend that uh, offering uh, to the MyWiz business platform. So uh, whether it is subscription or CapEx, you do have a choice even as, as a Connect customer looking at this new platform um, as your your possibly or hopefully your next uh, journey in your communications um, uh, life cycle. But um, you know, we, we like to, to kind of go over what options you have available to you. Now, when you look at my Wood business in its entirety, this kind of uh, hopefully paints that picture of how and where you can deploy the solution. So we do still offer on-site gateways. Uh, Michael's manufactured these gateways for a number of years uh, on the My Wood business platform. Uh, we continue to do that. We have a lot of customers that still have, you know, legacy analog, uh, copper lines coming into their facilities, PRIs. 
Uh, so there's a lot of different scenarios within customer environments where they still need uh, a physical appliance in order to support their, their telephony solution. Um, so you still have that as an available option. Uh, and then you do have the wide variety of public or private cloud or virtualization options with the platform. So whether that is a, a VMware Hyper-V uh, or something within the cloud, an AWS or Azure, uh, or one of the newer ones to, to our arsenal is Nutanix, which uh, has become more and more popular here in the U.S. with um, some of the you know, issues with VMware. We see a lot of our customers kind of pivoting over to Nutanix. So whether that's the AHV, their, their own proprietary uh, hypervisor platform within Nutanix, or Nutanix running uh, ESXi or VMware, either one of those are supported end-to-end uh, -end solutions from MyWoice Business. Uh, and then another little different uh, twist on things down there at the bottom, which is uh, our industry standard server option. Um, so might not be as popular as it was maybe five or six years ago, but for any customers that don't necessarily have a hypervisor like a Nutanix or a VMware, uh, we do offer my voice business on industry standard servers. So if you just want to have a bare metal server uh, and load our appliance software on there without any type of hypervisor, that is a supported method uh, of deployment with this particular platform as well. Now, in terms of collaboration, uh, many of you are probably very familiar with the Connect client. Uh, my, on MyVoice Business, we do have a very similar uh, tool set with our MyCollab client. Um, it does have a more modern uh, look and feel to it. Uh, it the, the Connect client, uh, although it had a, a very rich feature set, uh, you know, the, the functionality of it and the, the look and everything got to be a little bit long in the tooth. But, uh, ultimately, what we're trying to uh, hopefully show you guys here is, is you do have more of a modern interface giving you a uh, very similar feature set, team collaborations, click to call, of course, presence across your enterprise. So you can see uh, all those different uh, teams and individuals, where they're at, what they're doing, how you can get in communication with them uh, from a single pane of glass or a single application on your desktop. Um, so uh, we'd be more than happy to do a, a uh, demonstration on this, whether it's the Vertex team or the MyTel team, um, just to show you some of the similarities and the unique benefits of the MyCollab client. So again, if that's uh, of interest to you for you and, and you want to see what that uh, looks like a little bit more in depth, uh, please reach out to the Vertex team and uh, we'll be happy to set up a, uh, a demonstration of our, our MyCollab desktop and mobile client for you. Now, in terms of, uh, you know, more modernized features. Uh, MyWitch Business uh, does offer a contact center platform that is uh, uh, an omni-channel solution. Uh, on Connect, you did have the ECC platform, which uh, had a, a very robust feature set for um, that particular application. Um, once again, with MyWitch Business and, and this particular portfolio, we've extended some of the feature sets to bring in uh, more of what you would see in that typical uh, CCAS uh, environment where you know, you're looking for you know, a REST API based solution with real omni-channel communication. So um, expanding upon the, the uh, media types that you could utilize within ECC, uh, which were you know, limited to voice and web chat and email, um, this particular solution uh, does host all of those uh, media types that we do expand uh, into SMS and also social media. Um, so again, uh, a modernized solution that is uh, an end-to-end -end platform, not uh, disjoining your, your organization, but giving you the, the tools and the features to reach uh, your customers and, and, uh, and your individuals the way that they would like to communicate with you, um, and even from a contact center perspective. So uh, once again, we just kind of wanted to highlight some of the benefits of the, the contact center application on my voice business as well. Uh, and this, again, is another area where we, we would love an opportunity to sit down and, and showcase what the, uh, the interface looks like, some of the, the, the unique benefits of the contact center uh, application that is available on this particular platform as well. Uh, now, uh, everybody, if you turn on the news today, is, is all talking about AI. That's the, the new buzzword of, of, the, uh, of the, the IT industry. Um, and mytil has been kind of uh, on the forefront of the, the AI um, uh, conversation when it comes to 
uh, our collaboration tools and our contact center applications. So uh, we partnered with uh, Google AI uh, about five years ago uh, in order to uh, offer some of our uh, self-service applications from a virtual agent perspective, whether that's a voice AI uh, agent or bot, uh, or even a web-based one for you know, web chat applications. Uh, to try and minimize or alleviate stress on our, our customers' call centers. So uh, from a modernization strategy with um, the platform, uh, you do have access to uh, available AI add-ons with um, the contact center applications. So you can, again, build more of that self-service uh, mentality to uh, try to relieve some of the stress on, on your agents and your call center. Um, now, uh, aside from uh, our partnership with uh, Google AI for our uh, AI bots, we do also have several partnerships with uh, other um, vertical focused AI partners like Poly AI and Talkative, uh, which do offer uh, additional add-on benefits uh, depending on uh, your particular use case. So uh, from an AI strategy perspective, we would again love to continue that conversation and see um, if there's a way for us to, to help you all uh, modernize your contact center and also uh, take advantage of some of these more uh, modernized technologies like AI uh, to help uh, alleviate your conversations with your customers. Now, uh, Teams is, uh, is another conversation that does come up uh, very frequently with our customers. And uh, we do have uh, a number of ways that we integrate with the Microsoft product line. Um, the one that we always like to, to highlight uh, first and foremost is our free MyTel Assistant. Um, this does give you easy click-to-call capabilities directly within your Microsoft Teams environment. Uh, it does utilize our soft, uh, soft phone only version of that MyCollab interface that I, I highlighted previously. Uh, so that way you don't have a duplication of features. So if you have rolled out Teams across your, your user environment, and you don't want to have necessarily two collaboration tools on everyone's desktop, uh, we can streamline that and, and uh, remove those duplication of features uh, and allow your users to, to live in their team's client, but still have access to all of their, their MyTel telephony tools. Uh, and I, I do like to highlight, this is just one of our uh, integrations with the, um, the Teams interface uh, for uh, the other percentage of our customers that this particular tool uh, does, doesn't maybe necessarily fit 100% of their use cases. We do offer direct routing uh, on My Voice Business as well. So if you would like uh, to not have two applications on the desktop and want to uh, enable the calling features within your team's client, uh, we do have direct routing as an available option where you can still leverage you know, all the robust call control features and context center tools that we've talked about on My Voice Business, uh, but allow your users to consume some of those features within that, that Microsoft application. And, and I'll pause real quick, uh, Brittany, before I, I continue, any questions that you want me to uh, tackle before we, we keep rolling here? Nope, no questions so far, but remember everybody, go ahead and throw those in the questions and chat window and we can uh, help you guys out, so. Absolutely, very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no problem. Uh, now, from an administration standpoint, um, uh, another few benefits of the My Woods Business platform, you do have a uh, voice-enabled um, IVR that is uh, included with our support or what we refer to as software assurance on My Woods Business, very similar to your the, the support agreements that you have on Connect. Um, so it's an included cost that, that uh, you don't have to pay uh, any type of uh, licensing fees or uh, renewal fees on, right? So it's just included with the uh, the ongoing maintenance and, and uh, support you have on the platform. Uh, with this, it does give you uh, a little bit more of a, an easy way to see uh, and modify your call flows within your, your auto attendance structures. So uh, you, as you can see on the, the um, illustration here, it's more like a Visio type diagram where you can logically see how your, your call activity is, is traversing your, your auto attendance structure. Uh, and gives you more of what uh, you know years ago would be a an IVR, which would be an up upcharge from a cost perspective. Now we're giving this to our customers in a uh, an easy to use uh, auto attendant uh, with more IVR type uh, features. So if you have multilingual, if you want to create any type of uh, easy to use 
navigation tools like uh, text-to-speech or uh, voice recognition. These are tools that are embedded in our Voice Assist, which is our auto attendant application on My Voice Business. And from an administration perspective, there is a uh, easy to use single pane of glass administration tool uh, for those day-to-day -day as moves and changes. So whether it's adding a user into the system, removing somebody, resetting a voicemail pin code, uh, or even you know, making those uh, changes on somebody's uh, you know, buttons on their phone, you have a single interface that's able to uh, help you make those modifications very easily. Uh, and I will mention that uh, this particular tool is also available to integrate with uh, Office 365 or Exchange. Um, so if you needed any type of single sign-on or even automation for adding and removing users based on uh, AD privileges, um, that is an available integration for this particular tool as well. So we have many customers with, that are on Microsoft um, 365 that would like that have uh, chosen to automate their user provisioning. Um, so we can actually set that up to where you know your admin staff all they have to do is add them in Microsoft. We see those changes and that user added in the system. We can pre-build all of their phone services and send them a welcome message with all of their relevant information, extension number, pin code, direct dial, all of that, just to make it easier on your administration staff um, to get those users in and out of the system as you need to. Uh, now, in, in today's world, uh, we always like to talk a little bit about notifications, uh, whether that's uh, emergency or safety notifications or uh, any type of, you know, general business uh, notifications. Uh, My Voice Business is, is also paired with Mytel Revolution, which some of you may uh, remember from the, the Connect world. This is actually a, a, a partnership and an application that, that we carried over from. Um, the short tail portfolio, um, just to make it easy for our customers to get uh, or make or receive any types of notifications and automations that they would like to have within their environment. So uh, again, whether that's augmenting E911 notifications to say sending alerts into your internal uh, first responders, uh, any type of you know general business alerts like weather alerts for inclement weather, um, in the uh, the education space, you could think about you know driver updates and you know bus route updates, pushing those notifications not only internally but externally out to uh, parents and, and uh, as well as your faculty in order to make sure everybody uh, knows of these modifications or changes within the environment. So looking outside of just your voice perspective and looking at some of the other things within your environment that we can kind of again automate and and. Uh, push those notifications out for you both internally and externally. Uh, so this is a little bit of an eye chart, but it's a good uh, illustration of all or many of the different ways that, that we can take Revolution and integrate it into uh, your different environments. So whether it is something like you know, overhead paging or LED boards, panic buttons, uh, or just something as simple as uh, pushing a, a notification out through your Mitel handset, uh, there's a lot of different integrations that the Revolution tool does support. Uh, I will say that Mitel Revolution is an open API-based uh, platform. So if, uh, if there's not a physical integration that, that's required, if it's more of a, uh, an IT or API-based integration to, uh, to say something like an alarm panel or a, or a, uh, a fire alarm system that would be more IP-based, this particular platform can help you guys automate those processes, bring those notifications into the system, and then distribute them uh, either internally or externally based on pre-built campaigns to make things a little bit easier for you. And with that, uh, Brittany, that kind of brings me to the end of our slideware. Uh, so I'll pause here and see if there's any last minute questions. Well, thank you, David, for presenting today. As always, we do our monthly webinars, and you can see those up on our YouTube channel. If you'd like to see anything in particular about your My Voice Connect platform, go ahead and send those emails over to us, and we'd be happy to present those in our next webinar. Our monthly webinars consist of training tips and topics that come from all of you. So. With that, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys back a little time in your day. And thank you again for joining us. Thank you, David.
Thank you. Appreciate the invite. Bye-bye, <laughs> guys.